So this is going to cover one-on-one -on -one with a defender approaching and offensive players dodging, dodging a defender that's approaching you. So the way this drill is set up, you're going to pass it up to the coach. And as soon as you pass it, you're going to approach that guy to play D. All right? Ideally, you're going to catch this ball with enough time before the defender arrives and be able to get a hands-free shot on the goal. If you wait, or if you catch it not ready to shoot, you're going to be in a one-on-one -on -one situation, and this is where you're going to want to use those dodge moves we've covered earlier, catching it off the time and run, right? If he's coming out of control, I want to be reading his angle as he comes. I'm winding up, catching it winding up, and my first, and looking to hitch, top step to increase my angle. If he's overplaying me top side, I can wind up, hitch, come underneath, and cut him off. We go, I can wind up, hitch and split, and shoot down the alley, or I can add my secondary moves where I might wind up, face dodge, and if he's still overplaying me, then I'm rolling back to the middle to increase my angle again. Let's see a couple of these live with the high school group. Nice, break down, stick in front. Nice, way to step in and rip. Here we go, next two. Catch a loaded leg shooter, triple threat position. There you go, much better. Defenseman, we don't want to go out of control here and chase the stick, right? We want to approach him, cut down his angle, meet him with a poke or lift as he goes to shoot. And if we, if we get there in time, then we're looking to drive his hips to GLE and behind the goal. Nice double move. Here we go. These are these are dodges off of time and rim, guys. Wind up. Nice. Way to step in and shoot. Wind up. Wind up. Nice hitch. Um, in this situation, especially that last drill, we really worked on our dodges. Out of, out of our time and room shot situation, right? We've done this in shooting drills before, sh um, shooting, up, shooting in time and room, shooting with our wind up, our hitch and go, or starting our dodge with a crow step. Make sure we're using that in game situations. As you can see, this mimicked a situation where the ball would be swinging to us when we were uncovered and we'd have a defender flying out at us, potentially out of control. So use that wind up, crow step, and to set up those dodging moves to draw that defender to be even more out of control so you can use some of those moves to get, get closer to the goal. All right, drill G on three. Nice and loud. One, two, three. Drill G. Nice work, boys. What this is simulating is if we get into a situation where maybe we don't beat him on the split, we're going to want to take a couple drop steps back, act like we're giving up on our dodge, and then re-attack down the alley. 